to explore and understand the predictions of machine learning models. To find out, I'm with Irini from the Raspberry Pi Foundation. There's so much you can do with machine learning, but if you're interested in space, you can create a decision tree to classify stars into different types, such as red dwarf or hypergiant. There is a worksheet for this activity, which your teacher will have given you, or you can find it attached to this video. So to create your decision tree, go to Machine Learning for Kids and click Get Started. And then that's it. Try it now. Okay, great. Ooh, right. So now it says that uh, it has uploaded all the data. So the only thing we need to do is to copy the template. So right there on the right, copy template. Perfect. And then if you scroll down, you will find uh, the template, which is star types. Oh, That's the one. Yeah. And just click import. Okay. So now you have to decide how much data you're going to use for testing and how much you're going to use for training. So do click on that box where it says, uh, do you want to? Yes. Great. Mm -hmm. So you click, do you want to use some of the data for testing? And then you can see there's a scroll bar. Oh. And so the instructions say that anything between 10 to 30% will work. So let's use 20% for this example. Uh, okay. Perfect. And click import. Great. So now we open the new star types project. Just click on that one. Yes. And this is the project that has been created for this. And there are three steps, but we're going to go for first train. So click on train. That's perfect. Oh, wow. You can see all the different properties of the stars and the classifications, like the white dwarfs are here. This white dwarf has a temperature of 8,924. That's so hot. <laughs> yes. So these are all the different classes and you can see examples. And each example has uh, different features. For example, the temperature, the radius, the brightness and the color. So this one is a main sequence, right? And it has a tremendous temperature, 28,700. <laughs> wow. And a radius of 6.4, and it's a blue-white star. So wow. these are different examples. Okay, what do we do now? <laughs> so then uh, you go back to project okay. on the right, perfect. And then find learn and test, the middle mm, one, yeah. yeah, and click there. And so now uh, your model is ready to be trained. So the train a new machine learning mod model button will start the training process. Uh, oh, right here. Yes. And it's training the model. There it is, your own, very own machine learning model. So now before you test your model, download and look at the test data. So you click that button where it says download test data. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then if I go and have a look, oh, Oh, I see. So this is kind of what we saw earlier, but in spreadsheet form. Okay. So this is the 20% of our data that we kept just before. And we're oh. going to use it to test. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now go back to the project. Perfect. And the next th thing we're going to do is click describe your model. So we're oh. going to have a look at our decision tree. There we go. This is our oh. decision tree. It's done right there. And this is generated from your data. So now you can test this tree using some examples from the test data. So if we go back to the spreadsheet. Let me find a nice super giant to use. Oh, I'm going to use this one right here. Perfect. So its temperature is 33,750. Perfect. Yeah. So I just so you go here and you can see on the right oh, where okay. you can enter that temperature. So I think it was thirty three seven five zero, right? Okay. Um. So then you will enter the radius. Um. The radius was twenty six. Yes. Okay. So enter it. Twenty six. Perfect. And then the brightness. The brightness was minus six point one. Mm -hmm. Um. Minus 6.1. And then the color was blue. Oh, it perfect. is right there. It's yeah. already there for me. 
and then click test. Test. So you see how it follows the tree, right? Right down to the leaf and it did classify correctly. Decision trees allow you to follow the decision making process of your model and understand why a prediction has been made. Thanks so much for helping me, Irini. Anytime. Is your tree different to mine? Did your model predict the correct label for your test data? Try it out and have a go for yourself. Good luck.